To the untrained eye, this looks like just a bunch of dirt sitting here on Doug Kane's ranch, but these dark strips of dirt actually spell out a message. It's just too big to see from here. The, the letters are 800 feet wide and approximately 800 feet long. It's so big, Doug himself hasn't seen the whole thing he spelled out. It's a mile long. A mile long Trump. A mile long Trump. So is this the Trump mile then? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> we had to get a look at this thing. So we drove out into the field and launched the drone. Even from up above the wind turbines, it was hard to get the whole thing in frame. But eventually, we got it. There it is, in all its glory, the mile wide Trump. It looks really nice. You were a little worried you might have had a typo? Or a misspelled or something. <laughs> No misspellings and pretty clean to read, considering he eyeballed the thing. A lot of newer tractors have GPS systems that could spell out something like this. I have an old tractor. It don't do that. We just, my son come out and stepped it off and I just drove the tractor to wherever he was standing. So he paced it? He paced it. <laughs> How many paces? A lot. Doug says he did this for a couple reasons. He wants to show that even though Colorado voted for Hillary last fall, President Trump has supporters out on the Eastern Plains. Also, he knows he can see his land from the airplane when he flies out of Denver's airport. And he's got high hopes, maybe a little too high for that. Let me get this straight. You're not telling me you think that like some Hillary voter is going to be up in the airplane, see your sign and change their mind about politics. They might. They oh. might. <laughs> They should. I, I'm expecting to see it on Twitter or Facebook or something already. What did you call it? Twitter? Twitter? What? <laughs> They're laughing at you. I know it. <laughs> You're going to catch hell for this for months, you know. Whatever. It's worth it. <laughs> Doug's got a big sign and equally big dreams. He lights up at the idea Air Force One might buzz his ranch. They can even land if they're in Marine One. <laughs> I'll, I'll buy him a beer. I'd love to shake his hand. Your move, Mr. President. But we have to land now. Dang drone ran out of batteries. For next, I'm Brandon Ritterman. Doug says it took him about two hours to plow the sign into the field. He figures he'll leave it up for a couple more months before he has to prep the rest of the field. So side note, I know everybody knows somebody who has a drone, but that was the very first time that Nine News has used our drone for a story. It's taken a long time to jump through all the hoops that the FAA has for drones for news usage, but expect to see a bit more of it around here.